what's up? It's just Nick. WBLS, we are here celebrating history. 50 golden years with the Heritage Station, New York's number one for R&B with DJ Cassidy's Pass the Mic Live. Tonight, it's going to be an epic concert. And of course, we had to have the mayor here, Mayor Baraka. It is a pleasure to have you here. What does tonight mean for you? It's incredible. BLS here, you know, uh, all of the history associated with the station, uh, black music, R&B, all of this here at Newark in New, New Jersey at the Prudential Arena is incredible for us. Uh, and all our folks out there in the audience, so shout out to everybody from Newark that are here enjoying this show tonight. I mean, BLS means a lot to New York City. It's the music, of course, it's the flavor, but it's also the information because for so many years, BLS gave the black community and other communities across the city the information perhaps they were not getting in other places. So definitely you could jam to all of the music, the soul, the R&B, the hip hop. But when you wanted to know what was going on in the city, whether it's at City Hall or at the White House, you could tune into BLS and get that unique perspective. How do you feel being one of the founders of hip hop? And did you ever think it was going to make it this far? No, not, not really. I mean, I thought we would be all right. but. Uh, but see, that's the blessing of music. You know, everybody got their own, you know, uh, uh, niche that they bring to the table, and that and that's what keeps it alive. You know, some of it is good, some of it is bad, but all of it is there. And and as far as I'm concerned, everybody's having a good time with it. I know I am. The first time you heard your song at WBLS, how did it make you feel? Oh man, you know, it's a dream come true. Cause, I mean, even though I was in school and I graduated and I graduated from college and everything. It, it was nothing like music. If I couldn't do music, I wanted to die. Literally. Literally. Yes. What do you remember most about hearing your song for the first time on WBLS? Um, I remember I was working and I heard the music WBLS playing, uh, Let the Music Play. That was the song, Let the Music Play. It is the number six song today, World Greatest Dance Song yeah. Ever Recorded. And um, you guys were behind it. I mean, you supported me on that. Roxanne Shantae, as soon as you say that, you know everything else rolls out. I mean, from media personality, hip hop legend, uh, uh, author, you, you just do it all. And I'm so proud of what you have done to the culture, what you continue to do. Your star keeps growing. Thank, thank you. you, thank you, I appreciate it. And honestly, if I had to say anything about my star, it honestly, it honestly has a lot to do with WBLS because my career started with WBLS. As you can see with my shirt, Super Rockin' Mr. Magic, Mr. Magic's Rap Attack, he was the reason why everybody recorded BLS and listened to hip hop. He was one of the first DJs to play hip hop on the airwaves and that was through WBLS. So that was just incredible for me. So to participate tonight was literally a dream come true. Just finished a project with Omari Hardwick. So tell us about that. It's called Pages, man. Me and Amari, uh, who played Ghost on uh, on Power, we just did a project. It's nine songs. May add another one, but uh, it's it's absolutely spoken word and some good singing and writing. It's it's something different. How did that even come together? We just you know we became friends and we we did one song on the last album. It's called uh, Concrete and Whiskey. It's up for a Grammy. So we decided let's just do it just the two of us and. Uh, he came, he flew in after filming, came to Charlotte. We went in for three days and we docked it out. And he's like, you know what? This is perfect. We played first on WBLS a long, 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 long time ago. 1984, was it? 83, yeah. 1983. And uh, they stayed with us, they stuck by us. They supported us throughout all of our adventures. They, they gave us our first boat ride when we was here. Oh. Uh, we remember the boat ride. Yeah. Trust me, we remember the boat ride. We we rocked the boat ride, yeah. and um, it was just a pleasure to be a part of what they do as a as a company, as a as a channel. Um, they are all about the people, and and that's 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 love. You can't get no better than that. You know, once you support the people, the people support you. You can't get no better than that. No, we just want to say to Bob, thank you for having us. And um, this is who we are. We are the New Edition family. Yes. We just want to wish WBLS a happy 50th to Cynthia, to Flex, and all of the DJs that made this possible. And of course, we just want to give a big hug to Frankie Crocker, the first DJ we yes. ever met. Yes. Was it hard getting your song to Mr. Magic at the time? Um, well, I was real fortunate that um, I had a lot of good people around me. I came up through the native tongues. On top of that was Red Alert. You know what I'm saying? So 
I was in a blessed position where, you know what I'm saying, it was kind of a family affair, you know what I'm saying? So my music was definitely blessed by BLS and, and the like. What do you remember about WBLS first playing your song? Oh, God. You remember that moment? Yeah. Was it an exciting moment for you? Absolutely. Well, how, did that, we, how did that feel? Music up loud, and next thing I know, I heard. Dun, 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 dun. I was like, oh my god, that's just, I threw my crazy. Was it like a dream come true that you didn't think was going to come true? We just love the fact that our hometown. We were so excited because we're from New York, so to have our hometown be one of the first to ever break our record, we were. It was an exciting moment for us. Every moment from that point has been stellar. Yes, it has. So once New York, once WBLS jumped on your record, did the whole country catch on fire with oh, them? For sure. Oh, absolutely. New York is a hard market to break. Oh, yeah. And they showed us so much love from day one. And we just so happy to have WBLS and all our radio stations in New York representing us. And we will forever be indebted to. So when you think back on the BLS days, the first time that you uh, heard the record and beyond, what makes you think about BLS that you family, love so much? Family, 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 family. You're my radio family. Anytime I do anything, anytime I need you, you always say, no problem, come up, I got you. If I do a concert, you guys come up, do an interview, we help promote family. BLS is my first radio family. What I hear often from artists, and I don't know if you're different, mm -hmm. it's different when you hear it in the studio as opposed to you hearing it for the first time on the radio. It's, um, it makes you tingle. You know, in the studio, you're, you're at work, you're crafting your art. And so that's different. But once you actually see the full art and you know that thousands and thousands or millions of people are actually hearing at the same time, you feel incredibly blessed. And that's what makes it the difference. What would you like to say to your fans uh, watching us right now as we celebrate our 50th anniversary? Thank you, BLS. <laughs> so from that first single that you put out to where you are now, you saw your growth, yes? Yeah, I'm still growing, man. You know, you always got to pay respect to the elders, the ones before us. If it wasn't for the Luthers, the Teddies, what I'm, I think is what I do is me though, you know? But I definitely, I definitely can't do what Luther do. <laughs> you're close to it. We don't get that mistake, you know what I mean? Teddy, he was another a master machine, you know what I mean? So, but I, I just, I'm glad to be honored. People always pay respect for me on the, you know, so. Yeah, I'm man. just glad that you're back. Right. I ain't never left. I was that, just, that's true. Just, just inhale, exhaling. Okay. You know, a lot of toxins going on in the air and stuff, you know? Yeah. BLS loves your song. And I love BLS. And how does that make you feel once we started playing it? You mean now or before? In the very, very beginning. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I really didn't know how to feel because, you know, I've always been a musician, so it was natural for me to get on something that was musical. So, you know, I never was uh, cared about getting in the music industry, so it was a blessing that somebody would even play my record. Really? Yeah, so I, you know, it was interesting, I'll say that. I, I guess I can use that word. I didn't know how I was feeling. So well, did your feeling change once you realized that that song blew up? No, because my mother always told me never let my head go to my, you know, yeah, she can't tell you, like I'm nobody compared to God. I know, that's right.